You'll always be my queen In your tight black jeans I will need an honor of your majesty Until my legs get weak Until my hair is gray I'll color all your days Color all your days Happy anniversary! Good morning guys welcome back to our channel today is the 21st of September 2020 and seven years ago today I met Connor so today is our anniversary just grabbing the presents and we're gonna go into the lounge room and open our little gifts for each other morning Happy morning anniversary. you two look cute you I'm matching look at your outfits yeah, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it is our anniversary, so I have got you all these presents, but I'm going to give you them like individually. Right. So I have got um, something fun, something sentimental, something tasty. What was the other one? And uh, something comfortable. So which one would you like first? Uh, Do the fun. sentimental. 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 Uh, <laughs> Which one would I like first? Then she tasty, Mama. Tasty. You want tasty? Well, we'll do that one next. All right. Okay. So you want something sentimental? Why don't yeah. you hold the camera on you so you can see? They can see the reaction on your face when I give it to you. All right. <laughs> so I planned this one for a while. Okay. I hang on. Wait. I'll come in getting all nervous of how to like show you this so I got this lady that I saw off another vlog to make this for you you ready right put the camera on you oh wow <laughs> don't you think it's really cool she yeah it for you. that's really <laughs> is it cool that's really good she was from um I think she was from Russia yeah right. <laughs> yeah that's cool. Let so that's, that was a, a picture of us. I'll put a little picture up at the top um, of the original picture that she copied it from. And then I got her to put the mountains in the background. Because the picture that was originally taken was us in Ireland. Oh, okay. And then I got her to insert the mountains in the background. Do, don't you think it's really cool? Yeah, that's good. Plus my, never, my teeth never look so white. <laughs> Alright. Do you want to give me my present? Or do you want me to give you another present? Well, they're all done. They're done in the living bedroom. Oh, okay. I'll give you all my presents. So normally we don't do gifts on anniversaries or we just give like something tiny or we'll go and get our favorite food and watch a movie at home. But last year we completely forgot our anniversary. So this year we did gifts. So this next gift is from the kids for you for anniversary because they wanted oh, to buy you something. A dog. Can we give it to daddy? Now there's a dog inside. <laughs> what is it? Inside. Oh. It's Chloe. Chloe. Pajamas? <laughs> oh, you bought mummy some too! Whoa. Thank you! Extra ridiculous. You bought me pajamas! That's so nice of you! Thank you, Tilly! Connor never wears pajamas, and I just, well, Tilly just thought maybe it was time to get you some. <laughs> Still wearing just your clothes all night, and then. She wants to see me in pajamas. She got you a um, singlet. Thank you! Peter Alexander. Show them mine. I want to see what mine looks like that Tilly got. <laughs> what did you get? That's a bit cheeky, getting mummy one too. I thought you were just getting daddy some. <gasps> some satin pyjamas. I Thanks. did not get that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Don't give that one to daddy. Dad! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it a game? Yeah. Computer game. Yeah. Wow. Is it a game? It's a switch game. Oh. Alright, the next present. Oh, <gasps> yummy! <laughs> yeah, first of all. Oh, full uh -huh. name and everything on there. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get you a car. I don't know. <laughs> when I asked you last night, I was just stirring. Oh, I got you something yummy too. Watch out. Did you? 
<gasps> kombucha. <laughs> I don't even like kombucha. Yeah, but you can drink it. It says it's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> Is this because of my really bad diet that I have to do? Mama. Yeah, that was what, the one, one thing you One had thing I drink. could have. <laughs> Probiotic drink. Thanks. <laughs> Here's your next present. Yay! Yay! Thank you. I've been wanting one of these for ages, haven't I? Do you know what it is? <laughs> the ring. Stop. Settle down. It's a ring light. Ring light for um, vlogging and videoing and stuff. Thank you so much. Your final present is this. Can you guess what it is? No, I have no idea. A legend. India. A, a legged thing. Oh, is it a tripod? Yeah. Oh, awesome. I was saying that to you the other day that I really wanted one. Like a big tripod. Is this a big tripod? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Now I can do all my landscape photography and all my cool camera angles. Thank you. Tall enough? Yeah, I think it's very tall. Okay. <laughs> I can play around with it during this, this week's vlog. Maps. Yeah. All right guys, I'm just heading down to the back of our property here um, because where we live on a farm, we live on 600 acres, we don't actually have access to getting bin collection at the front of our property. So unfortunately we either have to take it five kilometers down the road in a trailer or we can just store it up over about a month's time, put it all in the trailer and take it to the tip and sort it out ourselves through recycling and everything. But for the stuff that we can burn off, like old wood and things like that that we've got in the house, furniture that we're trying to get rid of for Canada, because we're moving to Canada in case you guys are new on this channel, um, we burn it off. So I'm going to go set up the burn drum now. All right, so as you can see, it is a bit breezy today. It's spring, but it still feels a bit like our Australian winter. So we're going to burn off in this drum just here, and that way the fire is contained. morning obviously and I have been flat tapped this morning I had to go and do blood tests first thing this morning and then I had to go and send a few items of clothes back through the post office and then go grocery shopping so now I'm home I'm having my breakfast and I thought today would be a good day to show you guys a little bit of a clothing haul some clothes that I got for summer ready for our upcoming vacation Hey guys, I thought I'd do a little shopping haul for you. I do get a few messages on Instagram about where I get some of my clothes from and I do reply to you all, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you some of the new clothes that I bought. We are getting itchy feet considering we can't head off to Canada because of COVID obviously and our whole move abroad has been completely ruined by it. So because of COVID, there is a hard border in Western Australia, so we can't go to any of the other states. So we had to look around for somewhere in WA. We were looking at going up to Broome, go along the 80 mile beach, go on camel rides, just chill out by the pool. But unfortunately the prices for flights are so expensive we couldn't see at any point in booking it. So we've decided to head down south and we will update you guys on where exactly we're going in a couple of weeks time. But we have booked some of it and it means I needed to get some more beachy type of clothes. I pr pretty much just live in my workout clothes, my gym pants that I've got on now, my Nikes and oversized jumpers and t-shirts. So I wanted to get a bit of a fresher wardrobe and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Um, I will, somebody is here. Oh, Connor's selling the sprayer. So it looks really awkward. I'm like in the middle of farming town big windows and somebody's rocking up watching me with a tripod in the lounge room. So awkward. Okay, I'm gonna have to get up and go and let this guy in. So Connor. Hey guys, no you're not imagining it. I am in different clothes, different makeup, different hair because I'm now from the future. I have finished vlogging and editing this whole vlog the week in our life and unfortunately this segment where I did the whole shopping haul disappeared. I accidentally deleted it, I sent it to my trash folder, I deleted that and then I tried to recover it but then it was a corrupted file and I spent a whole weekend trying to recover it and get it back 
and it just didn't happen. So I am going to reshoot this part of the vlog right now. So the first piece of my shopping haul is this really pretty dress. I'm not really a dress wearer. I usually wear shorts or jeans, but, or um, workout pants, but this dress is so, so pretty. I really like it. I love the color and it's from City Beach. It's got little buttons and a tie up at the front. Although this tie up isn't real, it's just a um, pretend one just for looks. But yeah, it's really pretty and it's not really short either. It comes just above my knee, so. Perfect for summer. This dress here is also from City Beach. City Beach is a surf shop in Australia. I don't know whether it's international or not, but I'm sure you can buy it online from them if it isn't. Um, it's this little off the shoulder dress. You can wear it up like that or like this. And yeah, I bought it for summer obviously and for our holiday going down south to the beach. It's the brand Malula. You see right there. And yeah, it's just really pretty. It's a maxi dress. Very long, but not too long. I always have trouble trying to find maxi dresses because I'm so short. They end up dragging all over the floor. But this one here is perfect length. So I think it's going to be one of the staples in my wardrobe this summer. I was going to say winter, summer. I also bought this really cute beachy looking handbag for our holiday. And that's to go teed with that dress. I just thought it was really cute. So that's also a Malula sling bag. So it's from City Beach and it's just got a little zip. It's obviously not designed to be a mum bag to put nappies and everything in, but I just thought it would be nice for our farmers markets to hear and yeah, chilling out near the beach. This dress actually surprised me. I bought it from uh, Kmart, which is sort of like Walmart. This one here, I think it was like $10. It's just a little t-shirt dress. It's really nice just for around the house or picking up the kids from school. And yeah, I just thought it was nice. And then I paired it with these little, I call them Jesus sandals, but they're little, what are they called? Buckle slide sandals. They're in like a creamy, sort of got a pink sort of color to them, but they're really nice. And they're from Ruby, which is cotton on. I originally went to the shop to look for just casual sort of dressy clothes for around the house and going to the, our local shop and everything. But then I started buying for that as well as our trip away. So then I came across my Instagrammable hat, also from City Beach. I really like it. I already have my Kubra, but that's not really, that's my work hat. So I bought this one. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I then went online to Sabo Skirt, which is an Australian website. It's sort of like the hot trend at the moment. Everyone's buying from there. And I did like some of the items, but I ended up shipping a whole heap back because I measured myself and it said that I was size large by their measurements online and I got them and they were huge on me. I don't know what's with their measurements online, but I recommend going down in size if you go by their measurements online. Anyway, so I kept these ones. They're size large shorts, but I can. it's got a drawstring so I can pull them right up and they're so comfy, although somewhat um, see-through. See, they're like, I don't know whether you can see my finger through it. They're just a little see-through. So maybe if you had like a nude colored underwear on or something that would be all right so yeah they're high-waisted and i really really like those and then i also got the same well not the same but very similar pair from sabo skirt as well in like an aqua mint sort of color and they've got really cute little pockets at the front and they're real pockets not pretend ones so they're really nice i really like those also from sabo skirt i bought this extremely oversized tee like i said i bought size large and everything thinking that was my size i could have got, got away with a small or a medium um, but when I say oversized it is huge like <laughs> it's huge 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 oversized but I actually quite like it for just chilling around the house and wearing little bike shorts underneath so I've kept this one but if I was to buy I really wanted the pink one as well there was a hot pink one this is the orange apricot it's called um, if I went for the pink one and ordered another one, I probably would get it in a size medium. I think shorts are my staple piece when it comes to summer clothing. I absolutely love pairing it with just an oversized t-shirt and tucking it in. So I bought these super cute corduroy high-waisted cream shorts from the surf shop, City Beach. They are by Used, Denim Department, Used. And they are really nice. They also came in this really nice mint color, but they didn't have my size. I recommend those. They've got little pockets on the back and they're just really nice, especially if you've got a tan. I also bought the exact same pair and I didn't even realize they were the exact same pair. They're on a different part of the store from City Beach, but in denim. 
you can see there. I got the paper waistband, and then I plan on wearing it with like a white tucked in or black tucked in a singlet or an oversized tee tucked in. I have been wearing these ones to death already, so they look really crinkled. Um, but that's just the material they are. They crinkle easily and they're really lightweight linen. I'm just doing up the little bow. Um, and these shorts are from Cotton On. I think they were maybe $15, $20. And they're just really lightweight, easy, breezy shorts. Also from Cotton On, I bought a new t-shirt. A little oversized, little not, not near as wet. Nowhere near as wet, oversized. Maybe... I don't know what I'm saying now. Nowhere near as oversized as that orange big t-shirt, but it's really cute. I like this one. It's got the sun on the front. And then with us going on our holiday down south, I had to get new bathers. And I did try on full piece bathers and I've seen one at Cotton On. I do want to go and try. I'll probably insert it up here. But I didn't have time with the kids the other day and it's light blue and it's got like a low back. And I've never ever worn a one piece bathing suit before. So I want to go and try that on when I don't have the kids running around in the change rooms. So I picked these up from Kmart. I think they were $40 for the set. And it's the first time wearing bathers since having my breast reduction too. So I look incredibly flat chested now, which I'm loving. I'd rather be flat chested than have big boobs. That's just my preference. And yes, yeah, so I got this red one here. And then because I am sun smart now, I've gotten older, I bought one of these. What are they called? Ah, oh, I thought it had a name. Aren't they like caftans? Caf I don't know. Comment below if you know the answer. But the beach covers, that's what it says. It's a beach cover. But basically, it's just a huge dress size thing that I can chuck on after I get out of the water. Like It looks huge, but it's because it's got these big butterfly looking wings. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's quite long, but it actually only goes just down to your knees. It's see-through, so you wear your bathers underneath, and when you get out the water, you feel don't feel like when you sit down, everyone's looking at you, and you're in your little bikini. I don't know. As I get older, I prefer to have comfort rather than so much style, I guess. <laughs> and then I also bought myself a little sarong. Just a, I'm going to fold it over. It's not going to be a long sarong. It's going to be a short, obviously, that side. And then wrapped around my waist for when I'm walking around with my bikini on. So that's it for my little fashion shopping haul. Let me know what you guys think. I'll write down all of the places I bought it in the description below. And I'm so thankful that I was able to finish that. So now I can continue editing and you guys can continue on with the rest of the week's vlog. You cry. I'm missing you to sleep tonight I know it's strange and not the grass The fact that we can understand The meaning of this life Sometimes it's hard to find But if we learn to look between the lines I think that if we'll open our eyes We're gonna see the sunrise Morning guys, don't judge what I look like. It has been a hell 24, se 24 hours, I should say, not 24 seven. Uh, this morning we took Tilly to school, but that was just, oh my goodness. So as you know, yesterday was my granddad's funeral and it was incredibly sad. And then Riley was complaining and we ended up having to take him to the hospital. And we were there till eight o'clock at night and then had to drive two hours home out to the wheat belt where we live on our farm on our rental farm and yeah it's just been real chaos the last and horrible and it's just been emotional and it's just yeah Tilly didn't go to school till 9 30 this morning because she needed a bit of a sleep in and I have come straight home wearing my t-shirt but I've chucked my other pajamas comfies on because well, it's just one of those days I now have to do typical mum life I've got a kitchen full of dishes we don't have a dishwasher in this house I've now got to do those 
The sink, the table up here is a mess. Riley needs to go to bed. I need to give him his medicine from going to the hospital yesterday. And I'm just absolutely shattered and cannot wait to sit down and have a cup of tea. On another note, it's harvest time out here in the wheat belt and the guy that we rent the farm off is out there mowing all the hay down. You can see him out there in the um, tractor. And it looks really pretty seeing all the rows all swathed up. All right, dishes are done. And now the little man has poured over his whole toy area, haven't you? Little boy, look at that. So now I'm gonna go get you off to sleep. And mummy's gonna come and clean all that up. I think you might need a haircut buster. What do you reckon? What have you got? Hitching your tractors on the trailers. All right, let's get you off to bed. Okay guys, so Riley's down for a little nap and he has one nap a day at the moment. And I'm about to make my lunch and because I have found out I've got all these ridiculous allergies, I've got allergy results back and found out I'm allergic to co cocoa bean, which is all chocolate, anything to do with chocolate, sweet potato, tomatoes, capsicum, uh, cane sugar, so anything with sugar. Um, and then I was already, I already knew that I couldn't have wheat like gluten, dairy, and soy. So I'm really limited at the moment. I've also found out I've got some other issues as well, which means I have to eat incredibly low sugar for a while. Um, and I found this really cool, very healthy sort of dip slash mayo. I've been using it like with um, these little vegan burgers that I have. Um, I'm not actually vegan, but I do eat quite a lot of vegan food because I like to add extra vegetables in. So I just thought I'd show you guys how to make it. Feel free to skip past this bit if you want, but it's tahini, which you get from Coles. Cut up one le uh, lemon. So I've popped in half a lemon for now, and I'll just see how the consistency is at the end. I'm going to use half an avocado, a ripe avocado. Dice that up, squeeze it all in. And then depending how runny you want it, some people like to do this as like a dressing for salad, but I like it sort of thick so then it's like a little mayo or a dip. You can add avocado oil or a little bit of olive oil and then I put some salt in and then I crush it all up. So yeah, there it is. Morning guys, uh, it's Friday morning and I've got the duty of taking Tilly to school, but I can't find her anywhere. Tilly, where are you? Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, what are you dressed as? A pirate! <laughs> eh? <laughs> Tilly's dressed up as a pirate as um, it's costume day, or pirate day. And uh, you're going to read lots of books on pirates, aren't you? Yeah, Pirate Day at school, so I've got to bring a gold coin donation. Just in case you don't see when I go here. Oh, let's see. Oh, that looks sore. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I am, my hair's crazy right now. Connor took Tilly to school and I'm still sitting here working on this meal plan. I've been doing it since yesterday. Normally it only takes me maybe an hour, an hour and a half to do each week, which is a long time. I don't know whether to put the little man off to bed and then wait for him to have a nap and then go grocery shopping or go grocery shopping and then he's only going to have probably a 10 minute sleep in the car. So, oh my God, what do I do? Okay guys, so I've made it to town. I didn't get Riley off to sleep and I've just taken him. I've got to go and pick Tilly up in two hours. I've got two hours to do grocery shopping and in that two hours I've also got to get fuel and pick up Tilly from school which is a half an hour drive so I just thought I'd show you guys how I get fuel here in Northern. Northern's a biggish country town very small compared to say Canada's country towns but um I've got to go to BP fuel station because Connor's work car's card for his fuel is with BP so I've got to come over to this machine first and then I've got to type in all these details and then I've got to go walk over back up here and sort of like prepay.
Excited? And guess who's coming to watch you? Granddad. Granddad! Yoo-hoo! What are you doing this morning, Beck? Washing the dishes before we go horse riding because I hate coming home to a messy house and we've got 50,000 other things. You've just been changing the car seats over, haven't you? Yeah. Because otherwise there. Dad won't fit in the car and the other car because it's too small in the back with two car seats. So. Anyway, we'll better head off soon. Where are the two kids sneaking outside? I don't know. I need to make myself a smoothie for breakfast and then I'll probably drink that along the way. Okay guys, it's not your imagination. I am in my third outfit of the day. First one, I got uh, something on my white shirt. Oh no, actually, I thought that it looked too see-through and then the other one outfit, I just didn't really like it. So, we're leaving our property now. Our 600 acre rental property and we're gonna go pick up my dad. So we're just down at my dad's, about to pick him up. He's just putting the quad bike away. He's got a farm here in 2J, but just want to show you this wicked WB Ute that he bought. It's like my dream old car. Very cool. He just did it all up. Well, not did it all up, but the engine wasn't going, so. Handy having a mechanic, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hey, how you going, honey? You all right? <laughs> yeah, good. All good? Okay, guys, we've just arrived at the horse riding and someone is very excited, aren't you? Yeah. Got your helmet? Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe you will find me funny. Maybe you will find me true. I can't help think about me. Oh, things will do. Come steal away to. had Subway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we had a really good day. We're home now and it's really cold outside. Wendy, windy, rainy and wet. And we're gonna go and sit down and have a hot chocolate, I think. Is that what you want? Yeah. Kids are getting spoiled with some lollies and company that sent me a bunch of products a couple of weeks ago called Lambrook Pantry sent me this hot chocolate. So we're gonna have a try of that, the kids are. Anyway, the kids are gonna have this now. We're gonna cozy up next to the fire, put a movie on, and see you guys tomorrow. You will find me funny. Maybe you will find me true. Why can't help think about me? Oh, things will do. Don't steal away together. Good 
morning guys. I haven't set the tripod up very well because I'm sort of half cut into the frame here. But it's Sunday morning which means it's the last day of our weekly vlog. And I'm just up making breakfast for myself. Connor got up early. We take turns in having sleep in. So he's going to have one tomorrow because it's a long weekend. And I'm just cooking up some eggs, some egg whites with some chilli. A bit of coconut milk to make scrambled eggs. And then I've got a side of avocado. Oh, I forgot to mention when I woke up this morning, Riley was super cute. He was standing up with Connor washing the dishes and it was just so adorable. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but I'll soak it in while I can. What? Why are you hunched over? <laughs> because I set it up and then I don't know what I did. Like I thought I was gonna be standing up over here or something, I don't know. My dad called us up this morning and told us he's bringing up something really cool for us to do today. So I'll show you guys shortly once I've had my breakfast. Okay, so it's been a really busy day today for Connor. He got up early, cleaned all the mold from the uh, laundry with this horrible mold situation going on. Not the laundry, the bathroom. And then now he's out here. What are you doing? <coughs> Putting a new fly screen in. Yeah. Then he raked up all the garden over here, the garden, the soil, and he's planted grass seeds in and he's put a fence around so the dogs can't get to it. Then he cleaned the windows over here. What else do you do? Put two loads of washing on. Everything. Just everything. Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes and I've just been watching McLeod's daughters with my dad. You did not make me breakfast. <laughs> That's on camera. I've got it on camera you didn't make me breakfast. And now dad's in there watching McLeod's daughters, which is an Aussie farming TV show. And then he's got the quad bike over here. So we're gonna go quad biking after this and show you guys the farm. You right there, kids? Slow that way. Nice and slow. Ready? No, it's fast. Wait by the mum. Bye, mum. Bye. Right, oh, we're putting gear. Oh, there you go. See ya. That's Wolf. Up for mine. That's Turbo, that's right. Up, up for mine. Alright, come up. What? You tell you, go. 